Pride. It is something we all deal with. There is a good pride and a bad pride. Good pride is when someone or a group are proud of their achievements, like being proud of winning a race, being proud of your country, or being proud of your school. But then there is a bad pride, and that is when someone or a group thinks too highly of themselves. This is a story about a pencil who learned an important lesson because of his bad pride. Peter Pencil, dealing with pride. This is a story about Peter Pencil, one of the pencil people. Peter Pencil was very good at anything he did. He was great at sports, gifted at playing music, and outstanding in school. There was one serious problem that Peter had. He was prideful. He always saw himself as better than others in anything he did. Peter's parents noticed his prideful attitude, but knew they would have to be patient in handling this matter wisely. One day, Peter was supposed to go to the barber for a trim. He boldly asked if he could have his eraser removed. But what happens when you make a mistake, they replied. Peter assured them that he hadn't made one in a long time and he didn't plan on making any more. His parents tried not to show they were upset and said they would discuss the matter. Peter's parents discussed his request to get his eraser cut off. They decided to permit it, even though they knew that someday he would be sorry. So they took Peter to the barber to have his eraser removed completely. When Peter arrived home, he wanted everyone to see how he looked and asked if he could go show his friends. His mom said it would be okay, but reminded Peter that he had a test the next day at school and she didn't want him home late. The next day, Peter left the school and assured his mom that the test would be a breeze. When the children arrived at the class, the teacher handed out the test right away. He reminded them to take their time and read each question carefully before filling in the answers. Peter didn't listen to a word he was told and began writing the answers as quickly as he could. In fact, Peter was the first one done. Peter began looking over his answers. He realized that he had missed one question at the beginning of the test. This meant that all the other answers were next to the wrong numbers. Peter panicked. He began to correct the mistake he had made. He forgot he had no eraser. All of a sudden, he heard the test paper tear. He began to cry. That day became a day that Peter would never forget. He didn't know what he was going to say to his parents.
When Peter got home, he explained what happened at school that day. Peter's parents listened as he admitted how pride had caused him to get into trouble. His mom and dad said, Today we think you've learned one of the most valuable lessons in life, that we all make mistakes. Peter was glad for the way his parents handled the problem. Then he smiled and asked if there was any way he could get another eraser. Mr. Barber gave Peter a brand new eraser. There now, Peter. This should do till your eraser grows in. Peter realized that this eraser was much bigger than the other one, but he assured his parents that he would probably need every bit of it. Here are some questions about the story. See how well you do in trying to answer them. Question number one. How did Peter's prideful attitude cause him to look at others? Peter's prideful attitude made him see himself as better than others. Question number two. Do you think Peter's parents were doing the right thing by letting Peter get his eraser removed completely? Yes, because sometimes the only way we learn something is by going through a difficult situation. Question number three. When Peter arrived at school, how did his prideful attitude cause him to respond to his teacher's instructions? Peter's prideful attitude caused him to ignore his teacher's instructions. He began writing the answers as quickly as he could. Question number four. What did Peter do when he noticed the mistake he made on the test paper? When Peter noticed his mistake, he panicked and went to erase his paper, and all he heard was the paper tear. Question number five. When Peter arrived home from school, what did he tell his parents? Peter told his parents about the problem he had at school that day and how pride had caused it. Question number six. What did Peter's mom and dad say to Peter after he admitted the trouble he had that day at school? His parents said, Today we think you've learned one of life's most valuable lessons, that we all make mistakes. Question number seven. What did Mr. Barber give Peter? Mr. Barber gave Peter a brand new eraser that was much bigger than his other one. 